Okay. Welcome back to Attack on Titan, anime review episode number 52. This is discussing the 83rd episode, the anime Pride. Adapted from chapter 126, also called Pride. Yeah, here's the neat thing about this particular chapter. Well, this episode. It's only left one chapter. Again. And I'm thinking like, okay, you have 13, episodes, 13 chapters to go at this episode. Uh, to be adapted. And it's I've heard something. This curd, this particular part, is supposed to be 12 episodes. I've heard rumblings about a movie. Yep, a movie. Now they do, in fact, add sound effects. A particular thing, mostly put they do they do in fact some 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 visual changes. I'll, I'll basically I have the chapter from it, so I'll basically kind of detail exactly like what kind of changes they made from manga the chapter. Basically, put we start off with basically, well, a guy just wondering like asking the guy is hurt, and all of a sudden, boop, killed. And wondering what the heck's going on here. Yeah, it turns out that he's been sniped. By Hanj. Yes, using a sniper rifle. Where the heck she get this thing? Probably made it herself. And then we see her treating Levi's wound, basically stitching up his eye and his face. And, well, just later the thing goes chatting about what's going on. And of course, well, then <laughs> Levi waking up and him showing off his abs. Because, of course, we kind of show off Levi's abs. Because characters in the series love because the guy, because apparently some of the guys is like him along with Aaron, have got six packs, and here's the thing, there's only one woman in the entire series who's got a six pack, Mikasa, and here's the strange thing though, guess how many times we've seen her six pack once, in an OVA, yep, and the anime has never shown her not really with our shirt on. Yeah, it's something quite interesting about Mikasa. That it, it was adapted for an OVA. Yeah, her basically went showing off her abs. Which for some reason the anime just never bothered to show this off at all. Which to date has never really explained exactly what was the reason for it at all. Not really, no. So, and then apparently me up and then we go to the present day. We pick up kind of where we left off last week. Where we have Levi meeting up with Peck and... Uh, Theo, I think that's his name. Yeah, I'm thinking though, like, okay, how the heck does know these two names? These two other names? I mean, do they two introduce each other off screen? It's possible. That or here's another theory. I think that he may got information from Ar from Aaron about these two. It's possible. And of course, they agree to basically work together to kill Zeke. Okay, fine. Yep. Oh yeah, there's also the thing where she's been like cart and we see her having vision of basically Aaron's whole thing from last from last episode. Yep. Mm hmm Oh yeah, and there's some okay, here's some changes they make here. Okay, they add the sound effect of the rumbling of the of the wall titans. Okay, they do change where Gene is because basically here presented in the manga, because I'm looking at it, he actually is in a room with a bunch of beds. In the anime, it looks like he's getting his own separate room. Yeah, for some reason they gave him that. And you see Mikasa look like she's in a separate room to this way at the anime presented. And you have Annie and Hot Hitch just leaning against the window. And of course you have Connie and Gabby looking for not Gabby, it's not Connie, it's um, Armin looking for, well, Connie uh, and Falco, which of course they're taking to, well, Connie's village. Which of course, I should point out though, they in fact do have another change here from the manga to the anime. Where in the, in the manga, basically, Falco knows this is Ranch of Village. When they're riding on horseback. In the anime, it's basically when they're in front of the house where Connie's mom is. Yep, that's the with the line. I mean, they show walk in the they run the village. And they show off and they show off Connie's mom. And then they show up like a little like they actually show up a ladder. 
Like, oh yeah, we're here to brush her teeth. Yep, and then the whole thing about me fed to a Titan, which... Oh, and by the way, he does mention Galar's name. He does not know this point. He actually transformed into a Titan, which they get up in the manga. Of course, they have him basically where Connie's having throw his sword his throat, which... The anime changes it where he actually is on top of a ladder. Yes, he's actually got the ladder, and he's about to basically... The armor just basically goes up there anyways, and tries to have himself fed to Connie's mom. Then, of course, Connie basically tackles him, and that friends that. Falco, of course, gets consoled by Gabby, the woman who he... In, I should point out, though, in the manga, he says he likes her. In the anime, he admits he actually is in love with her. Yep. And then have a conversation with her. And then we cut to Megasa talking to her biggest fan, who has actually got her scarf. They do, in fact, have a change here, per se. In the manga, it's actually presented a little bit smaller in the, than it is in the anime. In the anime it actually increases the size of the scarf. My guess is Mappa saw this and, like, hey, this, this scarf looks a little too small. Let's make it bigger and have a couple more of her throat. Yep. But it's pretty much in a way, like, Presented the same way as in the manga. I just had a conversation about the scarf. And the fact also this woman's also had a conversation with Aaron about the scarf. And then she takes the scarf back by the end of the scene. Aside from that one change. There's not really much change. Because I mentioned, oh yeah, last the rumbling. Yeah. So, then we have this particular scene here where they look like, in the manga, the present look like they're on a bunch of steps. In the anime, they're actually on top of a balcony. They actually change. This is actually another change they make to the manga. The anime is that they make this. They have the leader of the the Yegerist, who's not Aaron, it's talking on top of the balcony because talking on steps seems kind of weird. My guess is this is another thing that Mappa saw. Like, hey, this does not look right. If you're gonna have a speech on steps, not a good idea. Put it on a balcony instead. Yep, and they have Mikasa. Or she's offered to join the Jaegerist. Now, do you cut the line out here? I've offered to rule the world. She's like, no, not interested. I like my jeans. And of course, then we see the four where we see Connie, Gabby, Falco, and Army just walking through the village, uh, through one of the villages, and having some pie during a festival. And just by sheer coincidence, at the very same table as Annie. Now, Annie, this is the first time we've seen Armin in person in four years. And, of course, they get work together, and they leave Hitch a note. And that's what I see of Hitch, because as far as I can tell, she does not make an appearance after this. Because I think she's dropped from the manga after this. Yep, and then we have the, well, then we have a scene that's, well, presented pretty much exactly as the manga, where you have Elena and... Orcot, that Orcob, I think that's his name. Where in the anime, they actually have it where when they have them pointing these guns, Gene doesn't have his pointing up like this in the manga. They actually change it where he's already have it near near Orcompa's head. Yep, and and your y- is like, huh. Just basically call it a conspiracy stuff like that, and then you have where. Or kind of basically saying pretty much the same exact lines from the manga, and then we have firing at the ground, which they actually had. They actually this is this is basically oh we just fired at the ground. In the anime, it's basically cut to like the outside of the castle, like bam, 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 four shots. You're probably thinking, did did Gene kill or kind of no, he missed. And it turns out it was actually signal for Mikasa and her group to basically leave the area. Yep. And, of course, that's when the card titan shows up and takes Jean, Elena, and Okampa into her mouth. Now, I thought this was the card I thought this was the jaw titan because one thing I've noticed, though, is the jaw titan, well, one thing, it, when, when Ymir, the, not the Ymir who spawned the titans, the, the one who had a thing for, for Astoria... Her jaw titan form looked very similar to that, uh, body-wise, that of the cart titan. 
I'm not sure if that was not on purpose. I'm not sure how that is, but yeah. And of course, Flock, who's wondering where the heck Mikas is. And then we see, oh yeah, then put together the, the, the stuff. Which is a slight addition here where they actually show the basic, like, in, like, a room where she's already, like, in the cart, sort of, the, the, the stuff. Then we see them riding out, seeing a different direction. And then we have the cart trying to spit out the three. And they actually do show first Gene and Anna Crumper. Basically, we see them spit out the water. <coughs> and then, of course, then you lay a show. And, of course, very similar conversation, of course, wiping out. And then you have Yelena, where basically she wants to talk to the general. And then we have a change for Reiner. Yes. When they, this is actually one of two times they show him in the episode, because they show him briefly. We have, they have like three apples next to him in the anime, which I'm not really sure, like in the manga, like look at the scene, there's no apples at all. That was something added here. He's sleeping and he's woken up by Annie, of course, who he's not seen in four years. And then, of course, Connie's the one, like like in the manga, like, well, I can tell anyways, Connie says his line too in the manga. Like, hurry up, time to go. Go where? To save the world. <laughs> yep. And, that, and the episode ends where the manga ends. I, I like the changes they make here. I mean, it's overall, like, Looking at it, they make a cut one half of a line and three visual changes, which actually helped, which is perfectly fine. Now, I'm not really sure exactly why why it is the past, excuse me, a few episodes where they completely just, they decided to do something kind of weird where they just, oh, let's have it where the anime only daps like, one chapter. I'm like, really? Yeah, as far as I can tell, there's no explained reason for this at all. I mean, you only got 13 chapters left to go, but the thing is, you have only four episodes left to go. Maybe they can clue this in the movie. It's possible to say at least, but it all depends on my map up. Okay, so that's it for the of you. I'm going to do one more video tonight. I'm going to close out here, okay? Next video. Bye.